Hi there guys, Tony here from Caveman Props. Um, if you're new to the uh, channel or Facebook page, uh, welcome. I hope you'll stick around. Um, if you're a subscriber or regular to my Facebook page, um, I'd like to apologise um, for the lack of content that's been on there. Um, obviously life gets in the way. Um, I've been working quite a lot and looking after the family and I've had some issues with the workshop so that has kind of hindered me being able to get in there and make some props but I'm going to do something um, nice and simple um, which I'm going to do in here today um, and go through you with it. Um, it's a prop from a film called uh, Super 8. It's a film by J.J. Abram and Steven Spielberg. It's based around a group of young kids making their own movie using a Super 8 uh, video camera. Um, they film on a railway station and there's a train crash and the train was transporting a sort of alien monster and the containers were filled with um, this prop that I'm going to make which is called the Argus Cube, I think that's correct. Um, they're parts of the alien spaceship that um, break down into these little cubes and they can rejoin together and make the ship. Um, but one of the boys takes the cubes and it's quite a fascinating um, little prop to make. Um, I'd seen a few um, online, um, people have 3D printed them and or cast them. They look quite good and you know they're about 30-40 quid, not too bad but um, obviously I look at it and go mm, I'm a prop maker, can I try and make my own a little bit cheaper? Um, so I went online and I managed to find this. This is a foam cube um, it only cost me a couple of quid. It did come from China, so it took a little while for it to get here. Um, and I ordered with that a set. They come in fives. They're much smaller cubes. So my plan is um, to use this as the base cube. And I'm going to be using a sharp knife to cut some of these to make the correct angles and bits. So I'm going to try and cut some pieces out of these and then stick them to this cube. Now if I can do this without marking these... Um, this is already pretty much the right colour, so it will just have to put it together and it'll be fine. If I have to mark them, then it's going to need coating and painting. Um, so I've ordered 30 of these, and these come in a pack of two, so I have got backup and a few spares of these. Um, I think 30 is just going to be enough. Um, I'll explain why as I get through to it. Um, so hopefully I can build the cube. And it will start looking good. So we're going to have a go. Um, I'm going to start off with the side bits. I'm going to try and cut central some little bits out of this. And we're going to see how we get on. Right, this is going a lot easier and quicker than I thought it would, so um, something might go wrong. You can see what I've done is I've taken the smaller cubes and I've managed to cut a piece out of this with just a sharp scalp, scaffold, scalpel, get my teeth in right, and um, with a little application of super glue, because they are foam, it's sticking quite easily. And as you can see, I've done this cube, so I've just got the last one on the side here to put on. So I'm just using the tiniest little bit of super glue on the sides and then eyeballing it once you've got a few of them on it makes life a little bit easier um, a few of them are slightly off and some of the cuts are a little bit off but not to that point you see it virtually sticks straight away so I'm um, getting there with the cube it's starting to look almost right um, I'm going to do the central ones which are going to be easy just the cubes cut in half and then stuck on and then I'm going to work on the corner pieces. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, it's doing the same cut as this one, but I've got to stop halfway through and then turn and keep cutting out. So I cut a smaller cube out of this one. So I basically got to cut a fourth out of the corner. So that's where we are so far. It's going quite well. A little bit worrying that everything's going quite <laughs> that well so quickly. So I'm going to see, do the side pieces and then come back to these corner ones.
Right, okay, <laughs> shock again. Obviously I've done the, the central pieces, they were just the cubes cut in half. Um, I've had a go at doing this one and it went surprisingly well. Um, it's amazing what a sharp knife can do, but obviously I've had to cut the little square out the corner there. And then that's going to fit on the corner like that. And obviously I've got eight of these to do. So I'm going to stick this one on and then get the rest of them done. And it's going to start taking shape. And then the fiddly bit, I've got to work on the slightly smaller cubes. Okay, this is going extremely um, quickly. So I've got managed to get all those cubes on. It's starting to really take shape. Now is the difficult bit. All the pieces I cut out, these tiny little squares, these now have to be cut and put back on these. So there's going to be ones on the corners, ones on the side, and then bits around here. Um, this is going to be the fiddly bit because these are now tiny. So trying to get the bits cut out of these is going to be the hard bit. It's probably why this went so quickly. So I've got to now attempt this bit. Let's see how that goes. Right, because this is so fiddly, I've decided to use a pair of tweezers. If I can get that close enough, you can see I managed to cut that little bit out of it. It was quite fiddly, but not too difficult. So now all I've got to do is glue that onto there, and then keep repeating that round, and then try and do the curved corner ones, because these ones just fit on like this. So, easy bit done first, and let's see how we can go. Right, okay, I've done that and as you can see it's starting to look a little bit more like the proper cube um, I've done all the side bits here and the bits in the middle here so it was quite fiddly but not too bad the tweezers most definitely helped holding the smaller pieces now all I've got to do is I've got to do corner ones for one two three four on each of these that's four eight sixteen thirty four so it's going to be quite a few fiddly little bits to try and do so, is the question of whether I can do it. So, it's slowly getting there. If I can't do it, we'll have to try and think of a way around it. Right, that was extremely fiddly. I don't know how well you can see that, but I've managed to take a small corner out of it. I've done four to start with and stuck three of them on. Um, if you can see it in that corner, it's starting to look quite good. A little bit of super glue. It's very tiny, tiny amounts you need for this. And because it's EVA glue, it's sticking very well. So there, I've managed to do that corner one. So it's starting to look very good. I think once all these ones are done, it will be pretty much there. Well, it will be there once that's all I've got left to really do. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a break because um, the chopping board is a bit low down that I'm working on and oh, my back's starting to hurt. But I've been at this for nearly an hour. It's not too bad for an hour's worth of work. I don't even say that I've been there for an hour. Um, so I'm going to come back to this um, and hopefully finish it off tomorrow and um, we'll see what it all looks like. Right then guys, um, I will confess it's been a, a few, a bit more than a few days uh, since the last bit of video I did. Um, other things have kind of got in the way again. Um, but I've come back to it and I have now completed the cube. Um, I think it Personally, I actually really like the, the way it looks. Some of the bits aren't quite lined up that well. And somewhere, if I can find it, I can't find it yet. I made a mistake and I put one there where there really shouldn't be one. Um, but I think as the cube sits there, you don't really notice it that well. So it's, it's not a big mistake. It was just a bit overzealous and was just like banging things on. I didn't realise I put one in the wrong place, but once it was placed, I couldn't really get it back off because the glue pretty much sets as long as it sits onto it. Um, 
so yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. I know I kind of cheated and bought the cubes um, already done. And all I've had to do is slice them. You could have a go at getting some foam and cutting the pieces out and making the cubes and then seeing how you go. But I just found it easier to just pre-order the cubes and um, just make it as it is. Cut the pieces out and put them together. Um, if I hadn't taken the break, I reckon this would have been done in a day, two hours max. Um, because there's no painting, there's no... Um, marks and things that have to be taken off it was literally just cutting and putting together so for a cheap little project this is actually cost me under £10 if you take all the materials into account um, I think I spent about £8 maximum on the cubes and I've still got spares and there was a small tube of glue didn't even use the whole thing it was literally just tiny small amounts of it so there we are I'm quite happy with that as a quick build um, I know you can buy them and they're absolutely perfect but you know as a prop maker I like to be able to make things I like to be able to make them cheaply as well um, so I'm quite pleased with this so um, there we go um, hopefully I'll be back onto this and be putting some more videos up soon um, please like please subscribe if you want you can contact us or view some of the work on the Facebook page um, and you can check out some of my other videos as well and hopefully I'll have some more loaded up for you soon.